G'day Virgo, welcome to TJ Tarot Down Under. Gonna do the love energy coming towards you as it now. See what's going on, hey? Remember this is a general reading. It's not a private reading. Some people don't understand that. So I'm just having to put that back in again. <laughs> so take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, you can check out your other placements or check out my playlist and see if something resonates for you there. Decks are all pre-shuffled with your energy and are all listed below in the description box. All right, let's go. Three cards for the love energy coming towards Virgo, please. And we got them. Yep. Okay. That was quick. I like that. <laughs> Let's get the clarifiers. Yeah, I know. I knock the energy out, but then, then you know, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Clarify card number one for the love energy coming towards Virgo, please. And no one else's energy is in it except for this reading, so... Number two. Hope you're having a good weekend or had a good weekend. Whichever it may. Yeah. Oh, I'm not speaking properly today. <laughs> Card number three. Hmm, that's interesting. already know who it is, don't we, Virgo? Yeah. <sighs> oh, wow. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. The lovers. <laughs> the nine of pentacles. And temperance. Oh, Virgo. Oh, dear. They're just playing. They're just playing. Because they're choosing to remain single and wait and be patient. Yeah. Yeah. They're just playing with you, doll. Because they're choosing to remain single and, yeah, and be patient and wait. Hmm. <clears throat> and just play with you for a little while. It's not serious, doll. Wedding. This situation involves marriage. Ooh, okay. Eight of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, some sort of commitment here that a lot of work was put into. They're leaving it out in the cold. After all the work that's been put in. They're leaving it out in the cold, walking away. <sighs> oh dear. <coughs> Not walking away from putting the effort in anymore. From working on it. Keep an open mind, your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Keeping an open mind. The Hierophant. The Five of Cups. Oh dear. And the Emperor. So they're trying to keep an open mind here. That yes, this is commitment that they're in with you is... Well, disappointing. Sadness. Disappointment, regret is the five of cups. But they still feel that they're controlling the situation. They're sitting pretty is what I'm hearing. Uh, 
I'm hearing got the world in their hands, well their their little world in their hands. But this these lightning bolts are making me think angry. Well I'm hearing angry, sorry, when I when I see that. Like anger. They're holding on to their anger because they've got the world in their hands right now. And this commitment even though they're not happy with it. So they're trying to keep an open mind because they're sitting pretty on a nice little throne here, male or female, in this commitment, even though they're not happy with it. The yeah, being in it. <sighs> Dear. Bottom of the deck, past life relationship you've known each other before. Finances and career, financial financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Yeah. True love, this is the romance of a lifetime. And honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. I'm hearing that the in the past, these two were very close and together. And you knew each other before. You knew there was a connection here. But for them now, it's just become a financial situation. The past was a relationship, but now it's just a financial situation. And I'm hearing true, yes, you were their true love, but uh, the honeymoon's over. It was just a honey, the honeymoon phase was the true love for them. Uh, anyway, if this is that same energy that we've been seeing that's been pretty much dodgy, well, yeah, I know you're pretty much over it. Well, yeah, how, how long are you going to put, oh, I can't say anything because, you know, we've all been through it. Well, I have <laughs> put up with something way too long. Um, yeah, so, and other signs have, you know, their dodgy person come up in their readings constantly, they are att still attached to your energy, and that's why they keep coming up, regardless of how you feel about the situation, this is, yeah, this is their energy, eight of wands, two of cups, wheel of fortune, and the hangman, wow, yeah, yeah, they'll have this passionate communication with you about love. Or oh, possibly even say that they love you. But it's all to do with the wheel of their fo their fortune. Yeah, it's to do with their future, their, their fate. Because, uh, yeah, they know, yeah, they're just hanging around because they know it's not going anywhere. The wheel's not turning, Dale. It's a, they know it's a dead-end street. But because of their fortune that, that they're sitting on pretty here with you, you can say, well, I don't have much money, but it's more than what they would have if they didn't have you. And to them, they feel they're, they're comfortable because you've provided or what you two have grown together. They don't want to let go of that. So they're hanging around, but it's not going anywhere. Yeah, and now, you know, passionate communication, saying that they love you, but it's all to do with that. Yeah, because it's not moving forward at all. It's They're just hanging around for the stability. Ugh. And they're not putting the effort in anymore. They're not working on this anymore. It's funny, some signs have the same reading every week. And other signs don't have a different one every week. <laughs> Alright, give me three more cards for the love energy coming towards Virgo, please. Right there, one, two, three, beautiful. Okay. Oh, dear. All right. 
let's get the clarifiers. Clarify card number one for the love energy coming towards Virgo, please. While you're waiting, feel free to hit that subscribe button and the bell. That'd be awesome. Clarify card number two, please. And don't forget to hit the like. <laughs> Okay, we have victory. <laughs> wow, yeah. Page of coins and the eight of cups. I'm hearing they feel that they win, even if they do bugger all, because that's what I'm hearing with this card, offering bugger all, like, you know, they're not emotionally fulfilled though. Yeah. 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 They. Yeah. I mean, they might talk about things of stability, but they've already left the building emotionally, and yeah, if they see that as a, that's their victory. <laughs> That's, yeah. Yeah, because emotionally, they, well, they're not giving anything emotionally. They've turned their back on any sort of emotion in this relationship. And they don't have to do much. They don't even, they only have to talk about, you know, maybe talk a little bit about anything stable between you two and... Yeah, they don't have to do anything. Envy, ooh, wow. Queen of Wands, wow. Four of Coins. And the Knight of Wands, wow, wow, wow. They are really envious of other, well, this can be the other man or the other woman. Because she can be the mistress, Queen of Wands. King and Queen of Wands aren't married. They're all about their passion. Um, envious of, yeah, other people, other relationships, people who have that passion. Holding back or holding people who can hold on to their money. I'm hearing that. And that player energy, well, people with passionate action, getting out, going out there, getting passionate action with, you know, other people. Holding on to their money, because they're envious of that. Envious of anybody who's out there passionately, you know, playing around and, you know, doing everything they want to do and... The holding on to their money and, you know, anybody who's got any sort of financial stability of their own. I mean, yes, that can be holding back, but it's also holding on to their stability. Keeping it to themselves. They don't have that. They're financially reliant on you, Virgo. So they're envious of people who are basically free.
Happy family. Ah, this will be interesting. What have we got with that? Seven of Pentacles. Okay. And the Page of Swords. So first thing I heard was, yes, well, you know, the happy family card. Yes, they've invested a lot in this connection. And this is the thing, they have invested a lot in this connection in the past. And then they're not going to do that anymore, but, well, they possibly haven't been. But they invested a lot in this being the happy family. Page of Swords, though. But they still haven't worked it out. They still haven't worked out. Worked it out. They don't have the information. They're still mentally immature. Look, page. What do we got here? As far as you know, court cards. We've got the page of page of coins or pentacles. Very immature with stability. Page of swords. Not very smart. Then we've got the player. And we've got the party lady. <laughs> that says it all, doesn't it? Hmm. 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 See, I think a happy family thing, I think that even gone over what they've planted and done in the past, even their upbringing, and they still don't understand. Still trying to work it out. All right. Journey, the thinking man, attachment, and storm warning. Yeah, see. Yeah. See, they know that they need to get out. And they're trying to think of a way to do that. But there's an unhealthy attachment here. They're still chained to you in the situation. But they know it's all going to fall apart. They know it's all going to fall apart. That's like the tower. They know, yeah. It's, you know, it's going to come to an end. They know that. Knight of Cups, Justice, Knight of Coins, and the Three of Cups. Oh, whoa. See, here we've got more maturity, haven't we? Well... Showing love to a balanced connection. Moving forward with stability with a third party. D didn't we have this last week, Virgo? There was a third party. Yeah, see. Mm. The third party. Stability. Balance. Showing love. Yeah. Ah. Uh, See, and that could be the other woman. They're envious of the other woman because they can't, they have to hold back from them. They can't go and play with them because you're onto it now. And if your person isn't playing up on you and doesn't have a third party, this will be something that you know about. You know about it, or you've had a really strong gut feeling about it, and your intuition is right, because it always is. Um, yeah, this is not something new that you don't know about, and I'm revealing it. No, this is, you already know that. It's been in your reading for a while. And if your person isn't seeing someone else, well, it's, prob that, it's probably not your reading, or that part's not yours. It possibly belongs to someone else. Okay, give me at least three cards for what this love energy would like to say to Virgo, please. Come on, what do they want to say to Virgo? One more, please. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Wow. 
What's the cards trying to come out? Ah, okay, thank you. Yeah. So, these ones are to you. These ones aren't. So, could we start again, please? <coughs> oh, sorry. This is them trying to keep that stability. Every time, well, you kick them out in the cold for not putting all the... Because you're doing all the work. They come back. Could we start again? But look, I'm not ready to be with you yet. See, it's still holding off. Still holding off on the situation. Wanting to start again, but oh no, no, no. Not yet, not yet. I miss you. This is to that other person. <coughs> and I can't wait to see you again. <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, they're missing that person they can't play with. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, they're missing that person they can't go and play with. And they're delaying with you. They don't want to end it. They want it to keep going. But they don't want to... Yeah. No. I'm afraid it will never work out. I don't know what you see in me. I'm not good enough for you. I love holding you. They are afraid that it's not going to work out, this third party situation. They don't know what either of you see in them. Because they know that they're, well, acting like an emperor when they're actually just a page. With bugger all, no st hardly any, st no st well, childhood stability and childhood intelligence. Yeah, what do you see in them? They know they're not good enough. They know what they're offering you and whoever else isn't good enough. But they like being in the arms of both of you. Well, yeah, I think they do. Well, they like holding on to your stability and they like wrapping themselves around the other person passionately. <coughs> Which they can't do right now. Because they know that you're, yeah, they're about to be out in the cold. And lose that stability. Well, they know it's not going to last. They know they're going to get caught. And, yeah, possibly going to lose you or both of you. Alright, let's get a message for you, Virgo, from the universe. One card, please, for Virgo. Uh, well, okay, well, you got two, and I'm going to give it to you because you deserve to have two. No one else has got two, so don't say anything. <coughs> okay. Have you lost sight of what is really important? Hmm. Remember a time when life was simpler and the world seemed like a giant playground just waiting to be explored. Perhaps it's time to rediscover that world together. But not... Uh, yeah. I think you need to get out there and have some fun, Virgo. Go out and have some fun. The world is a playground. Go and play. Not be a player, but go out and have some fun, please. Please get away from this energy and have some fun. Your soulmate's love surrounds you this very moment. Stop and feel it. Unconditional love glowing through the eternal flame of oneness. A spiritual union of two souls radiating life for the entire world to feel. Somebody... I just got the message that somebody's crying as I read this. Because this is what your soulmate love feels like. You can feel it. The unconditional love. The, the oneness between you. The spiritual union of your two souls radiating together. The balance. 
the connection. And you're not feeling that with this person and it's breaking your heart. I know. It's okay. Oh, I'm going to cry. Don't. All right, let's step back. So, yeah, go out and have some fun. Because that's what real soulmate love is. That's what real love is. Bottom of the deck for you. Love and respect your loved one's opinions, but remain grounded in your own truth. You are both wise and beautiful souls. Everyone has a piece of the truth. So, you know, be respectful of everyone around you. And, you know, everyone's got a different opinion. Everybody believes what they want to believe. It doesn't mean they're, you know, not a wise and beautiful soul as well. But also I'm hearing you stay grounded in your own truth. Don't give up what you want for the sake of having someone. Never do that. Never do that. All right? So be respectful, you know, if that's, you know, even with this energy, if they want to have what they want to have, okay, that's fine. Go have it somewhere else, mate. Be respectful. I don't, I don't mind if you want that, but you're not having it with me. <laughs> and, you know, unless you want to be that, but that's up to you. But, yeah, I think the universe is telling you that you need to go out and have some fun. And reassess what real love is, because this situation is not that. And if you're looking for love, then, yeah, this is not it, Dal. I'm sorry. Yeah. But I think it, we've gone over this and over this. <laughs> um, yeah, this is just what their their energy is right now. So, yeah. Alright, but yeah, you get out and play, okay? You go out and have some fun. Okay, baby. Oh. And big hugs to whoever it was that was crying. Big hugs to you. Alright, well, that's your reading. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, be nice in the comments, all that good stuff. And thanks for watching. All the best, take care, good luck, and I'll catch you later.